Hi, welcome to this uh, short tutorial where I show you how to to create a heat distortion effect on Unity 3D. I'm running Unity 3D 3.2 and uh, the license is the pro version because we need the pro version because we uh, we need the post-processing effect which the indie version won't provide so let's get started I I've created a little scene all right with the floor it's a cube acting like the floor first person controller a barrel a dummy dummy barrel and the actual barrel which contains the flames and the heat distortion okay so you see the particles are emitting and uh, what's going on here is that you know it's appear and disappear appear and disappear it's because they are competing with each other the heat particles and the fire particles okay so to in order to, to have this working I've created a script here it's attached to the heat particles I name it rotate camera which actually will make the the transform to look at the camera okay it will look at the camera all right and we position a slightly slightly ahead the heat particle so it will cut the the flicking effect which we don't want all right uh, it's very simple you you figure it out I'm sure if not just uh, just drop me a question all right uh, here I'm what what I'm doing here is defining a layer to these heat particles because uh, when you when you look it from too far it distorts too much you know and then when we are further than than some distance here I put it on other layer and this layer my camera will not render okay it's a, you know it's a, one of the solutions Uh, all right, let's get back here. Heat particles, okay. Um, heat particles here. Heat particles are nothing more than uh, a particle which use them with which is using a material that uses stained bump distort effect. Uh, that will will act like a glass, all right. And this glass has no texture; it only has the normal texture, which will only show the distortion of the glass, all right. This is animated texture, all right, helping to to give us a better effect. Okay. So we can see now that uh, what's going on. You see the distortion, and uh, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so let's position in this to zero. Okay, I want this a little bit above because it's too too low. It won't won't give you my uh, the fact that I'm looking for. So it's slightly above. All right. Okay, so hit play. You can see it's perfectly working. Okay, so you need you you see that when I I getting far from it, you know, distortion is getting a little bit, you know. I I don't like it. I just don't don't like it, you know. So you see when I 
when I transpass the distance, my camera won't render the heat distortion no more. Okay. It begins to render. And again, closer. It looks nicer. Okay. So it's completely open to you to tweak the, the code, tweak the the shader tweak the the particle emitter feel free to do that if you do if you reach a if you reach a better result please post your video as a video response so anyone can see it anyone can can see what you did all right uh what I'm show you now is uh, you know you if you if you look here this barrel you see the light you know it's 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 uh, you know lighting like random randomly like a real fire you know there's a script attached to the point light here this point light which gives this effect, okay? So, it's another script you 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 figure it out is using a, a a random class, a Perlin, all right? So, I think that's it, pretty much it, you know. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You just have to download the project with the link that I provided on the video description under the video description and uh, enjoy. All right, see you soon.